Hi guys, welcome to the video. We're going to be showing you in this video the locations and how to get all the 10 ascendant chests. All you need to have for this is maybe two tincture of queen's foils. They last for half an hour. If you're going to do them all in one go, you maybe need two of them. So the first one we're going to go to is the Bay of Drowned Wishes. That's the lost sector in the Devalian Mists. It's right where you spawn in and you want to head all the way through until you come out of the cave area. And in the distance, you'll see two rock formations on your left. You want to go to the second one. And in the video, I'm just, even though it's misty, I'm just going to show you the second location. So once you've cleared, there's a couple of ogres here, so you want to get rid of those first. Once you've cleared those, get up onto the rock formation, look back out to your right, maybe straight ahead, and you'll see the, the platform appear. Just follow the platforms up, follow my, my, my route up, and you'll get the chest. The second area is the palatial area in the Valley of Mists. It's the way you would go to the Blind Well. Come in, turn back round, and it's on your right-hand side as, as you're looking back out. And this is one of the bigger kind of jumping platform sections to get a chest. But if you follow the way I go up, it's pretty simple. I'm sure you guys will manage it very easily. Now, I've had a lot of fun getting these chests. I just hope there's more... I mean, I'm, I'm not complaining because I think this has been the best expansion. I think this could be the best year Destiny's had since it's came out. And that's saying a lot when you take, you know, King, uh, Taken King and Rise of Iron into consideration. So if th these platforms will take you back outside. So just follow them around. I think this one I'd already got. I think this was open. I think I might have forgot to record it. So uh, there you go. There is the chest. So the next area we're going to go to is the Strand, and we're going to go to Petra's area. Now, there are still platforms to jump up, but the, I prefer to go just behind where we are now, just to this rock formation at the back. If you jump up on top of the rock formation, all the way at the top, you can jump up on top of this kind of pavilion-looking structure, uh, that big kind of marble structure. You can jump up on the side of that, and the chest will be right above you. It's a lot easier and a lot more efficient than, than doing the jumping puzzle. And that, that's, that is uh, Petra's one. The next one's going to be the Aphelion's Rest, which is pretty cool because it's a bounty from Petra today. So this is where the chest will be. I'd already collected it, but this, this platform is where the chest is. So as I say, the next one is the Lost Sector, the Aphelion's Rest, which is just below, behind Petra. If you drop down, it's just round here. You're going to want to make your way through this Lost Sector and get to the boss. The chest is actually past the boss. It's, it's kind of the exit out of this lost sector. So I've cleared this, this section of, of, of enemies just for the purposes of making it simple. And yes, I will collect that prime engram. Thank you very much. And once you're coming out of here, it's on a platform, like a, a ledge. Now, I actually got this without a tincture because the tincture just shows you the platforms. This one's ground level. I didn't see anything. It just gave me the chance to, to grab it. So the next one we're going to go to is the Chamber of Starlight, which is kind of a tanky lost sector. So my suggestion is the, there's a balcony. You want to take out the ads in front of the balcony. I've actually cleared the whole area just for ease of showing you guys. But I would suggest clearing these ads that are in front of this balcony so that you can just jump up on these platforms and get this chest. Again, this is another chest I had collected and forgot to record. But it's on this platform here. So it's only two platforms you've got to jump on. Not very difficult at all. So the next one we're going to go to is in the same kind of, same vicinity, it's just not too far away, it's, it's, it's off the cliff side. Now this one you've got a little little bit of a jumping puzzle before you even get to it. So you're going to jump on these rocks and go right across to the other side. If you follow my, 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 uh, my path, you'll be, no problem. Uh, all classes can do this, it's, you know, I'm doing it on a Titan because I'm, Titan's my main character. So when you get to the top here, if you look out to the left, so you'll see the platforms. Now, once you get the chest, there is actually a, a, another platform past the chests. It's, it's nothing hidden. It's just a way to get back to the mainland. So it saves you having to go back across all the rocks again. And there we go. There's the chest. So the next chest we're going to go for is in the... Rhea Sylvia area. It's uh, in the in the Harbinger's Seclude. That's what this area is called. Well, this is where it leads to. And you want to keep going through till you come to this area with the big statue at the back. 
big kind of statues on a balcony. And there we go. And you want to go all the way down towards the, the balcony and look over to the right and there's the platforms. Now the last, this one and the last, the three after this can all be accessed from this area. Now one of them, Gardens of Asila, you can access from the Strand. But because it's, you can actually access it here pretty easily as well. I've just included it in this area so that for efficiency. I've tried to put them in such a way that you can you can follow this this guide and just run around the map really efficiently to collect all 10. So just follow these up all the way up and as I say this some of them some of them have got quite a few quite a few platforms you have to jump up on. I think I took a shortcut here and jumped straight up to where the chest is. So the next one we, we're going to start in this area and we're going to turn around and so as you can see this is where we were. And then we're going to turn around and run down. There's a balcony. We're going to jump off the balcony and then jump down. It's kind of a hole. You're going to jump down the hole. And down in this hole is where the two secret stroke lot, uh, hidden vendors are. Now, they don't have a great inventory, but I do believe it could be quite an important one. They're not marked on the map, and you actually have to know where they are in order to get them. So there's, there's two vendors. The purple one is called... Munin and the black one is called Hugin. So there's the purple one, Munin. Uh, he sells uh, offerings for the blind well, and you buy them using uh, Baryan Bow, which is the 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 collectible, the 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 materials, the planetary materials from the Druin City. So not too bad. And uh, Hugin sells tinctures. So not too bad. So when you get to this area, uh, turn around, there's a cave here. You're going to run through this cave and go through the portal. The portal will take you to another area. Now, you're still in the Harbinger's Seclude, but you will encounter a loading screen going through this, uh, through here. You will encounter a loading screen, and that's you going through to the Confluence. Now, the Confluence links three different areas. So you've got this area you just come through. And then there'll be, uh, down one of the passageways, there'll be a tree that takes you to the gardens of Elisa. And there will be like a glowing rock, and that takes you to the spine of Keris. Now, it's those two areas that we'll be going to get the last two, but there actually is one in this area. So if you go to the doorway that's got like neon lights all the way around it, uh, that doorway there, if you go to that doorway, that's where you access the platforms from. As you can see, if you jump up on this plant pot, it's actually on the, this plant pot in front. And you can access them, access the the platforms from here. Just follow them around. Now, I think some of them you just got to crouch and go under archways. I think I may have collected this one uh, already, but it, no matter. This is how you get to it. Just crouch down under there, walk along here. And drop down here and this is where it is this platform there is where it is so we're going to head towards the tree so this is the garden of Elysia I think I'm saying that right uh, this one not too difficult when you go out there's some ads you've got to clear the ads there's a shrieker over to the left I'll point it point out the direction it's going to be in <coughs> the gardens of Asila uh, you go through the portal to get to it as I say, this can be accessed from the Strand, but because we're here and we're getting other, it's, it's worth just putting it in with these. So when you there'll be ads on this area. Clear them out. Just to your left, on the left of this bridge, off the side, there'll be a shrieker. Clear that shrieker out as well, and then look over to your right. And as you can see, I'm showing you on the map, it can actually be accessed from the Strand area. But we've put it in here because we're getting other ones that are up here. So just follow this round, and you're golden for your chest. Which leaves us one more to collect. Uh, I've had loads of fun with this. Now, j before I, before I, I carry on saying that, just over on the rocks, just in the, just in the distance, that's where the uh, this week's ascendant challenge is. Uh, just for anybody that didn't know, uh, I've had loads of fun doing this. I found a few of them myself, uh, and clan members and what have you have, have told me, uh, helped me, and friends have helped me with some of the others. I would love to see more stuff like this be brought in. I think it will because I think this is the best year we've had of Destiny so far. And I'll be speaking about that in future videos, but there's, there is loads more to come. So go back through the portal, 
go back to the confluence, the center section, and then we're going to head to the glowing rock, which is the spine of Keres. That is the last chest and probably the longest to get to. Now, I was going to speed this up. I was looking at how long the video was, and I figured 14 minutes for 10 chests isn't too bad. It, you know, it's just over a minute a chest. So it, it gives me a chance to, to, to speak a bit about uh, the spine of Keres. When, you're, when you go through here, when you go through this area, have a little look around on the islands that you're going to jump on because there there is some lore on the islands. I think one of them is uh, Amkara and the other's just a, a just a piece of lore for that area. You're going to keep going straight through here, sorry, straight through here, and there's you'll see a portal. I think it's on the right when you get into this room uh, and go through that, and that takes you. The Spine of Keres is the area that you start the mission, you start the campaign on. I think it's the beach that you're on. There's the portal. And you go through there. Now this one is, it's, <laughs> this one would have been really tricky. If, if you didn't know what this one was, this one's going to be tricky. So as you can see, there's a couple of invisible platforms that will just help us cross this gap. We're going to head across this bridge. There's some ads here. Not really too worried about them. Uh, and then we're going to drop down and kind of, we're gonna go, go sorry. We're gonna go across these 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 rocks, and then we're gonna drop down and kind of do a bit of a U turn on myself. So on these rock formations here, there are two pieces of lore. I can't remember exactly which ones they're on. As I say, one of them, one of them is an Amkara. They're right in your path. But if you haven't been back here since you started the campaign, you probably wouldn't have known what you were looking for. If you did find them, well done. <laughs> That's pretty good going. So right across here, jump across to this side, and then we're going to kind of do a bit of a U-turn and drop down into the mist. Now you're going to see two rocks, two big kind of bouldery rocks. We're going to go down here to the left and do a U-turn. You'll see in the distance two rocks with a little one in the middle. This little one, when you get to it, you kind of do kind of like a blind jump and you'll land on the platform. Walk up to the platform, jump up on this big one, and then head straight straight forward this one's a little bit of a leap of faith it won't appear until you jump and then go up to the left and follow the platforms up and you will see when we get up here and we collect this chest you get the the triumph for collecting all the chests and that is all 10 that's all 10 secret chests i hope this has helped you guys uh i've had a lot of fun making this content thank you for everybody that's been watching the videos it was a really really exciting time uh to be uh, since 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 forsaken has has dropped i think it's there's so much so much potential for content in this in this uh expansion it's definitely the most exciting year i've seen in destiny for a long long time uh i am doing more guides i will go back to getting the night falls out but i just i I never ever had a chance to do this in D D two year one because there just wasn't anything really to do it on. So I've got a couple of videos planned. I've got I'm going to do the solo ascendant. I'll have that up today. I'm going to do like I'm going to go back to doing like the Destiny Diary series where we cover all the topics of the week and stuff like that. But I've got a really cool video planned for Saturday, Friday, Saturday for you guys. I think I found probably one of the strongest weapons in crucible and i don't i haven't seen anybody using it i haven't seen anybody do a video on it so i will get that up as soon as possible guys thank you very much for your support i hope you've enjoyed the content my aim for forsaken is to make better content and to obviously build so thank you for everybody that supported me it's been it's been emotional <laughs> enjoy the video guys i will definitely see you guys in the next one